fading, I know There is something more than this I think I am ready For doing some changing, oh God There is something to make some slow cooker taco soup. If you want to screenshot the ingredients here. <clears throat> Pretty much just cook the ground beef and just add everything to the crock pot. Cook on low for eight hours. So, you're going to need some chicken broth. Um, you're going to need some beans. It called for kidney beans. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm three time in this. I'm doing it three times um, for like three different servings. So uh, not serving, but I'm tripling the recipe. That's what I'm trying to say. So it called for kidney beans. I like to put black beans in mine. So I have one can of black beans and two cans of kidney beans. It also called for canned chili beans. So I'm going to use this chili fixing instead of the chili beans, and then two cans of diced tomatoes. And then I should have been getting some more diced tomato at Aldi. These are my last two cans. So I need to restock on those. Um, it also called for kernel corn. So I got my three cans of whole kernel corn and tomato sauce. So I got my three cans of tomato sauce. So I'm glad I picked those up at Aldi's. So I'm using all three of those, so I'm gonna have to get some more to put in the pantry. And then I'm also using this chopped green chili because it calls for um, 1.25 ounce of can of diced green chili pepper. So I'm gonna use that in place of it. And then for, and then onion, so I'm gonna use three small onions. Then for my season, I'm gonna use this um, onion soup mix. And then of course my taco season because this is a taco soup. And then I'm gonna be using some of our ground uh, pork here. Ground pork. So I'm gonna be using four pounds instead of three so it can be kind of hearty. And with this, we're gonna have sour cream. I forgot to shredded cheese. I got cheese, but I forgot to get shredded cheese. So, mm. anyway, um, I got cheese. I just shredded up. But anyway, um, this is my meat. And then we're gonna have it with chips. I got tortilla chips and I got uh, Doritos. We're gonna have sour cream and cheese with it. So I left the chips in the car. Like I said, if I didn't say this is for church tomorrow for our marriage ministry, um, we like to serve food. Well, when we started in our home, I was cooking food because it, it was after church. So uh, I just continue with that uh, tradition. So that's what I'm making this for. So I'm going to turn you around and we're going to get started. Adding everything to the pot. All right, guys, I'll add a little bit of this olive oil to the pot. 
I saw this little thing on chin that you can put on your cabinet. It's like a little garbage can. I need that because I always hang a bag on my cabinet when I'm cooking. So I can put the cheese, especially with meat packs, because I like to, I don't like to keep them in the house from the sink because they'll smell. I like to just put them in a bag and put them in the garbage out in the garage. I think, do I want to add this other one? Why not? Go ahead on and add it. If I see it's too much, I can always take some out and put in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. I'm going to go ahead and go with it because we got quite a bit of men that be there and they are greedy. Very greedy. So, I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm going to let that uh, do its thing. Just let it cook. Start to cook. I'm gonna put the lid on it, and I'm gonna start opening up all of these cans. All right, guys. As y'all can see, my meat is almost done. I'm gonna let it cook some more, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions to it so my onions can cook some. So it's a lot of onions. This is three small onions. And you can use whatever ground meat you want to use. I'm just using ground sausage. That's what I have on hand for one. And for two, it just adds a little bit more flavor. Okay, so now, since I don't add my... And when you're cooking up, when you're cutting up an onion, if you would add, put your dish towel or your sponge beside your cut, cut more, your eyes won't burn. Try it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead on and add half of this onion soup mix. I'm gonna do half of that, when I do the other half when I get in the pot pot. And I'm gonna add some of the taco season. I think it called for one pack. Yeah, one, 1.24 ounces, but I always buy the big thing, so I'm just gonna add some to it. Okay. Get this stirred around in there real good. And I'm gonna go ahead on and be, um, set my crock pot up, and go ahead and add my vegetables to my crock pot. And that way when my meat get done, I can just put my meat in there. But I did want to cook my onion some and let the meat get just a little bit more cooked with the season in it. Smell good already. All right, guys. I am going to add a little to my brain, y'all. Okay. Season. So I'm going to let that cook. I'm going to bump it back up just a little bit. I'm going to put the lid on. Let it cook. And I'm going to start adding my uh, beans and stuff to my crock pot. I got my crock pot here. Now on the beans and corn, don't drain them. Now for my back black beans, I did drain my black beans. Rinse them off, because I don't want everything to turn black. I don't even think I have any more crop pop bags. Oh, let's see. Oh, I think I may have one left. Yeah. I think I have two left. So. And I also got to cook a dessert. I'm going to record that too. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to add my 
black beans since they are here ready to be added. Red beans. But I wanted to show y'all this. Look how feel for this crock pot is. <laughs> I guess normally when I make this, I guess I don't do it three times. I guess I thought I did. And I could be thinking about my um, white chicken chili. I mix that a lot too. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this up. And then I am going to take some of this out. Put it in my other crock pot. And the uh, other crock pot I'm going to leave here for us. And then this crock pot I take with me with the rest. So I'm going to take a little bit out of it just so I can fit the meat in there. And then I'm going to add the meat. And then the other crock pot I'm going to use. So I got everything stirred up. I'm going to go ahead and add. Um, it's called for chicken broth too. So when I take some out. I am going to add a cup of chicken broth to both of them, to both crock pots. And I'm going to use my taco seasoning and the rest of my lifting, I mean my uh, onion soup seasoning. But I'm going to put my battery on, on, on my phone on charge, let it charge up, and then I'll bring you guys back. But I'm going to go ahead and drain my meat and add my meat. reached the end of this video i hope you enjoy cooking this um soap cooker taco soup with me today i pray that you have a great rest of your day and i pray that you um enjoy this soup if you make it please tag me in i love you with the love of christ and i will talk to you guys real soon in another video love you guys <laughs>